Well, today we're going to be starting a new book of the Bible, A Song of Songs. Um, just out of interest, how many people here have in church... Oh, I need to. Thank you, brother. How many of you have, in sitting in church, heard a pastor preach all the way through Song of Songs? No, I said sitting in church while you were there. There you go. I know a lot of people you can search and you can actually find some uh, sermon series on uh, sermon audio that go through Song of Solomon's. But uh, to my, uh, in my experience, this is the most neglected book in the Bible, less preached on even than Ecclesiastes. And that's a shame, uh, as we'll see. Now, I do want to give you a tip. Um, first off, uh, in finding Song of Solomon, uh, it, it is actually on one... Uh, 1,046 in your Bible. It's the last time I can actually give you the number. But the, uh, uh, the tip is, and many of you already know this, that the Old Testament is arranged topically. So the historical books are together. The wisdom literature, that is Psalms and Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, they're all together. So uh, if you let your Bible fall open naturally, which book will it generally fall to? It's Psalms, the middle of the, uh, the Bible. So if you just move right of Psalms, you'll find your way through Ecclesiastes and then Song of Solomon. If you reach the major prophets, that is Isaiah, Jeremiah, Daniel, and so on, you've gone too far and so on. Uh, but that's how you find Song of Solomon. Uh, eventually, we'll go through the minor prophets. I'll give you some tips on how to find the minor prophets. That's, that's the real difficult one. Find Amos. <laughs> you know, anyway, moving on. But um, I am excited to begin this work. I, will, I would be lying, though, if I did not say I was also a little trepidatious uh, to begin this work. Uh, it is a, a book unlike any of the other books, uh, well, with the exception of Psalms, perhaps, that I've ever preached through. But let us, uh, before we go to the Word of God, let's go to the God who gave us this Word, and let's ask for his help. Sovereign Lord, is today...